just come here. Where's your husband? You come. I wanted to ask you, is he your... Yeah? It's my fiance. It's your fiance, yeah, you are right. Because I wanted to ask you if truly she's your husband, she's your wife. Eh? Were you not married before? I was married. You were married. Now you get this one. Yes. And uh, it seems as if even this, will you will separate if we don't pray. Because there's a spirit that is happening to your family. This is the spirit of Mary and remarry, Mary and remarry. That is happening to you. You took it from your forefathers. So even this, it won't work well unless we pray. You hear me? I hmm? hear me. Mm. Already this lady, there, she has many stories that she saw on you. And uh, what you can do, when you see the weakness of your partner, you help your partner. Amen. You hear what I said? Amen. If you take it the way other took it, uh, you will separate. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. Eh? Amen. Because already you have seen something and you're afraid to tell him. It's not true. Huh? I'm speaking with you. Talk. I want to pray for you. Amen. I say you have seen something. Yes. Eh? Yes. But you're afraid to tell him. There's a character here which is wrong character. And this character is the one that devil is using to destroy everything. So you people, you can stand together. You must marry, brother, because you can't do the things of God if you're not married right. That's true. I'm blessing you in the name of Jesus. I receive. So that you shame these people who say you will never marry. I receive. I receive. Bring the brother to me. Yeah, I can confirm the prophecies to what the man of God said. He said what? Can you explain? He said that I've seen something on my fiance that I'm afraid to say, and it's true. You've seen something? On my fiance. Yes. And and tell him the thing that I can't tell him. And this thing you saw it when? Three weeks. And did it affect you? Yeah. How did it affect you? I can say it affected me a lot because the person, I really love the person. I don't want to be separated with them, but the thing doesn't make me feel comfortable. And were you expecting that the man of God was going to locate you about this? Yes. And how, how does it make you feel that God knows your problems, your challenges, and today they were located and you got a clarification of whatever it is that was bothering you? No, I'm okay. So, yes, I believe God. There's a church that will happen upon our lives. And how do you feel now that they've prayed for you? I feel so relieved. And I'm happy that the men of God have prayed for us. That we will never, we will last in our marriage. Amen. We need to pray for your marriage now. You hear me, sir? Amen. Amen. Satan is trying to attack this marriage. Amen. Were you away? No. Eh? No. Yes. That's what I want to explain to you. Amen. Okay. The devil has blocked everything here. Yes. Eh? Yes. It's an attack of marriage. The devil has blocked every. Let me say, there's no success that is entering now. Yes. Eh? That's true. Yes. You have to use what you are having together. Yes. True. Is it true? Yes. yes. Now, you people, very soon, you are going to argue concerning finance. Yeah, it has already started. It already started? Yeah. Ah, so it's what I'm talking about that Satan is attacking marriage now. Yeah. Because you will say you want to do this, she will say no. 
Yes. You say you want to do this, you say no, it's not true. Yes. So now, this is how you people you fight. Because Satan is trying to make sure that you won't be seen as a prophet, as any prophet. Everybody's blocked now. Yes. Even people, they don't want to come to your church. It's like you're, you're starting a church even now. But when you leave from here, God is going to raise people who will stand with you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah? Amen. Amen. Yes, daddy. Because he, your husband is like, he's wasting money, isn't it? Let's talk mm -hmm. about that. Huh? Yeah, sometimes. You say what? Sometimes. Mm. Mm. It's like he's wasting money. But there's nobody who can support him. Yes, he's alone. Only him and his brother. Huh? It's only him and his brother. So if his brother can live? He's alone. Are you still going to believe his call? I believe. So, but why do you worry when you start to use money for the ministry? Because in the beginning, you must use what you have in the ministry. You must sacrifice. Okay. It's called paying the price. Okay. After you pay the price, God will touch people there. Congratulations. God bless you. Thank you. Can you tell us the prophecy that the man of God said and also talked about the issue uh, financial attack and the, how the devil is doing is that we are going to start to have arguments and then it ended in attacking the whole marriage and it's true and he also prophesied that we are things are not okay financial I started seeing it last year in in, in uh, from October I saw the symptom October November December it was worse each time you get the money there are so many holes where you have to release that money you end up no longer finishing the project because we are busy putting up the structure we just stuck halfway the way and uh, I was trying to pursue it I should have finished it in December but it didn't work I, and then I started to pray that God help me to finish it now in January but some of the things I was doing it like I organized to buy the things which are uh, outstanding without telling her because you tell her she want money to be used for some other things and then I'm still putting the priority it was to finish the church and then the rest will fall yeah. that the prophet is true that's what she used to do she, 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 she's, she, she was showing the spirit of not being prepared to sacrifice some of the things you know, she would say, no, we have to save money to do this because my main focus was to finish the, that church building in December. Irrespective of anything, then the rest will come. Uh, but because of the misunderstanding, we didn't go well. And then I hope by the, this prophecy saved us a lot. Now things are going to go back to square one. And then I hope by the end of this month, that church will be finished. We'll put the roof and finish everything. And now, what is it that you want to do as you have received this word of prophecy? Mm, already from today, I'm going to support my husband and uh, to stand together as husband and wife uh, to fight this fight. Yeah. And Papa, how do you feel that uh, this problem was located today? No, I feel relieved that uh, my focus and my dreams of completing the church will come to pass in Jesus' name.